going on mighty partiers um we're on our android version today uh in terms of our chapters you can see that we are oh wait that's not going back to it sorry that's not the map there's the map we're on chapter four now so we finished off the first three the end of three was a little bit of a struggle definitely was but we did get our gem fund we got it we spent the cash on it and we got it so look out basically look out i was like humming and hawing about it for so long it's just like, you know what fuck it let's just fucking do it we've got the 50 there um i can't remember your name kind sir that actually pointed out the the monetary value of what it actually is is freaking ginormous so yeah <laughs> glad we've done it in the end and straight away we got to use um because we got that that event that comes on every time for new players and obviously we're in the middle of it we done that and one of the things came up with the summon um 10 demigods so we done that and we managed to, to get old dragon mate here so you know we got some good bonuses from it basically in the end now our team's definitely looking a little bit stronger. We are still very, very weak. I think overall, like everything combined, I think we're sitting at about 4,000 might. So nothing too special. We are building up a little bit of a gold bank. I know 34K is small to most, but this early in the game, considering how much we have been actually leveling up our heroes as we go, I think we're sitting pretty damn good at the moment. Um now we're just trying to farm through these things as fast and as much as possible the the chapters so we can get those gems That's all we want to do now it's just farm and farm we're getting through and pretty reddit like you know relatively easy like there's the occasional hard one where we've got to change up our, our warlord and you know do an all chaos team or something like that those few little things have popped up here and there but nothing nothing over the top it's all been pretty good really uh, we'll, we'll finish this off and we'll go show you what the current squad is running This dragon, let's just keep appearing. It's good for us, though. Oh, shit. We have to be... Okay, we have to be in the air. I didn't realise that. We, not, we don't have to be in the air. Um, what was I trying to say? We have to be ranged. Oh, I yeah, went completely blank, then. <laughs> that we have to be in the air no no we don't so if we go back if the button works so we've only got three hours left in this event we obviously didn't get very far if i was very careful with my gems i would have saved but we would have hit one bonus chest but i spent them thinking there's no fucking way we're going to get there and of course we we got there <laughs> we would have had enough so let's just do this summon here we have got this every time bar one it sucks us i'm not going to use this shit so i oh, will obviously later but yeah this is currently what we're running we've got the sir lance a lot get dishing out his block and then i've obviously uh attacked including selfie deal seven to the attacking enemy the reason why we've got him in oh, sorry not the reason why we've got him in so we've got certain lens a lot so the reason why we've got sword master in is because he deals three to enemies for each ally with block and as, as you saw in the last game i don't even put him in the front line half the time he's just there for when we filled up the squad like we filled up the lanes with as many people as we can boom we chuck him down and he's just gonna dish out the damage it was a three for each ally so you know we've got so Lancelot down and Prince down, that's four. We've got Dragon or something, that's five. There's going to be 15 damage just dealt out right there. So 
and yeah we got matriarch obviously she's strong because allied death gets 10 and along with prince who summons those two weak the two weak squires he can build up his health pretty quickly and become very sustainable in these low levels and he's also got the splash damage deals five to enemies around the target radius too that's very very handy prince we've just looked at a few times but he starts with three blocks as well I'm sorry, not, not summons the squires, he summons the archers. The archers is what I was talking about before. Grace, we all know my love-hate relationship with Grace. It's definitely um, becoming more of a love relationship now that I'm actually using her, so that's one thing. Uh, we've also got in... We can soul bind her for another two, but I don't think we will. Two health. End of turn gives plus three to nature allies and the start of turn gives plus four to allies around itself. That's the big one where she gives the plus four, but also with matriarch. So if we pop, put her behind matriarch, she's going to sit there and always give the attack to her. Plus matriarch's going to get the, um, the health every time someone dies and then plus four to herself as well. So but someone that's going to be very interchangeable that we've just sort of got sitting there purely for we're so uh order focused at the moment gives plus two to order allies and gives plus four to al order allies so you know when we're filling up with the one two three four five of them she jumps down to the six it's a big boost plus you know you're getting the hp from forest as well so you can end up again this is all relative terms you can get some decent amount of hp and that sort of thing in your squad and then this is the latest one is Rodan gets plus four for each order ally and then gets plus four health for each order ally as well as his attack. So he's not the strongest now, like right now, but if we've got Grace down, we've got Prince down, we've got Lancelot down, and then we do our um, our summon two archers here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he jumps down. Obviously, it's very, very hard to say that. So we'll we around out say there's four. That is four. He's going to end up having 32 health and um, 29 attacks. So he's, he's going to sort of be insta strong. We do have a lot of other heroes here that we can level up now. We've got a lot of new ones. We have. Oh, yeah, she's been reborn. She's the only one that we've reborn as well. So that's something, I suppose. We can level a lot of these up, but I'm just deciding on how I want to approach the money situation. Whether I just want to go out and spend all the gold or just hold back and wait for legendaries because one thing i'd done in the previous game is i just evolved everyone all the time until i got to like probably you know like six months ago i stopped evolving everyone and just i only started evolving specific ones and then at the same time i'm like oh shit but i do have to level everyone up because i don't want to don't want to fall behind and have no rares or epics that are at a, are of a decent level so we could probably level this dude up to a pretty decent spot but he has to be like full nature focused nature squad but yeah you can see we've got some decent numbers not in the thousands yet but he's like level seven so if we go reborn he's reborn 11 okay unlocks on level six. Oh shit sorry that's at the reborn thing there but yeah so at the moment that's what we've got we've actually got quite a few heroes already i am one thing i'm focusing on is getting totem up actually let's just request him i really like totem and i feel like it could be very very strong in the early stages of the game just the end of turn he deals three to enemies and he gives spikes to the random nature ally that's that's nothing it's this here you know we level him up again it's because I'm, I'm speaking in relative terms to us being early in the game like this early in the game even this even like doing the five damage every turn is going to be a pain in the ass it's going to have 43 hp it's going to be hard to take out so i i am going to try and focus on getting him and then obviously end of turn 27 that's at level 31 but that's without any reborns as well so i'm focusing on getting totem because i've never really used buildings so i want to i want to actually use one and totem is the one i'm going for the other one that's actually pretty strong. Uh, no, it's not that one. Which is the one? There's one that gives minus twenty-four. Oh no, sorry, that was in a um. 
what's it called divine game divine arena that's fucking it i've been so blank today that was in divine arena sorry sorry i'm tripping balls but yeah so we're doing all right we've got a gems now we got three thousand we like i said we did spend some on the demigod 10 summon for the current event uh there's also a new event starting today as well uh where's events should be on here shouldn't it yeah can't remember what it's called meet the heroes toxic mantis man that's it snake the lizard prince and hoodoo toxic mantis snake the lizard prince and hoodoo that's four okay yes uh we'll be smashing out that event a fair bit over the weekend and we'll do some videos on it um don't forget this is the android version we're gonna have some pc version videos coming as well you know we'll do some filter squads uh, that sort of thing we'll just keep rolling how we keep rolling and as usual like subscribe comment always interested to hear i'm gonna go back and grind some journey and i'll catch you ladies and gents in the next video till then bye bye